Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Ryan with Iowa Classic Cars. I'm here with my buddy Sam at Sam's Upholstery. And today, we're gonna finish up my interior. We're gonna put a brand new blue sequin headliner in, exactly the same as the sun visors. We're also gonna be teaching you guys today how to do a bow style headliner install. Sam is the pro. He's gener generous enough to help me um, install this thing and kind of walk me through this. So what we're first gonna do is pull the sun visors, all the trim, and the lights. So once that's done, we're, I'm actually just gonna polish the trim, um, so not much to see there, I suppose. But then Sam will come out with me, um, and we will start to work on this. So, hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do, make sure to check out Sam's channel as well for all upholstery-related videos and also builds that he does. He does a lot of really cool stuff. Make sure to like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe if you're new. Anyways, let's get started. All right, guys, so all the trim is out. These cars have a ton of screws and a ton of trim inside of them. Um, but now, Sam, what is the first step, I guess, of this whole process here? Um, so once the, the headliner is kind of out, um, the main thing is you don't want to mix up these bows in the order. They're very specific with the curvature of the roof of the car. Um, after those um, are out and marked, um, the next little thing we'll do is we'll uh, We'll clean up these tack strips. You know, Ryan's kind of spoiling me today because they're actually still here. Um, so we don't have to go through and bend these little tabs and put in a new tack strip around the, the sides and the back and the front window. Um, we, we go through and we pull out all the little staples. That's kind of what I've started doing. You can so see you... there's a ton of them in here. Now is that, re now do you have to do that or just give it a cleaner look? It gives it a little bit cleaner look. Uh, you know, your trim's gonna hide all that. So just kind of how, how detailed do you want to get with it? Um, you know, the, the, these are still pretty supple. They're not hard like a brick, so they're, they're coming out pretty easy. So I'm, I'm probably just going to wrap up and pull all these out before we pull these bows out. One thing to note before you take these bows out, mark which hole they are in. You know, not necessarily just a 59. If you're doing any bow headliner, it'll have three holes. You know, it'll be like two and then one off center. Um, just take a sharpie and we'll mark, make a line next to the hole that that bow was in. So that way, when we go to put the headliner back in, you, you get the proper fitment. Alrighty, well let's uh, let's keep pulling staples and we'll get back at it. Alrighty, so the four headliner bows are out and they are in order. Now Sam, what exactly are you doing here? So what I like to do um, on this step is we want to find the center of the bow. Um, so like this is 55. 27 and a half and I'll make a little mark with a sharpie now we want the center of the bow to line up with the center of the headliner but it doesn't really make much sense to put a mark here because how are you gonna see that once it's inside the, the bow listing on the headliner so I'll take a thin piece of tape quarter inch or this little eighth inch pinstripe tape I'll wrap that around a couple times and, and that way maybe Maybe if I get the tape on. But this way, once with once it's in the the bow listing, you can feel that that little notch once it's up on the headliner. So that way, you can make sure that your headliner stays centered once you put it in the car. Uh, we'll go through and we'll do this on all the bows. That way, uh, and then and then the next step is we'll stick this inside the the bow listings itself. So. All right, Sam, what's the next step here, buddy? So we're gonna feed these bows through this bow listing on the back side of the headliner. Um, one thing you kinda of wanna do first, um, if you have a steamer, go ahead and steam this, get all the, the wrinkles from the folded, uh, when it was folded inside the box and everything. Now, how do you know which side is front and which side's back? Most, most headliners are labeled. Oh. See, this says front. Perfect. Right up here. And then most of the time they have a center line going through. So what I do is I go through and I, I add the center line on the listing part so that way when the bow is in there we can feel and make sure that it lines up. And this cardboard center. is for the back, correct? Yep, so the very back it has a bunch of hooks and then that will just snag on the back side of that and then we'll pull it okay. to the front. But, uh, yeah, so if, if you don't have a steamer, throw it out on the driveway, let it kind of get soft and supple, It'll relax all those uh, fold marks in there. Um, but yeah, you just kind of spread this apart. It's 
too easy. So then that's why we have the tape, because we can feel, okay, there it is, it's right, right centered. So what the next thing that we kind of do is most of the time the listing is going to be a lot longer than the bow. Um, so we'll want to measure, oh, like on this one, we'll probably go back an inch. So we'll make a little mark and then we'll end up cutting that with our scissors. This little prep work that you do now is actually going to save you a whole lot of time once you're inside the car working above your head. So now we'll just do the bows, the rest three of them here. Yep, Cut. we'll do the rest of these. We'll make a mark. Um, on all of them, we'll go make sure they're an inch on every one, except for this one. Um, as you can see, it's a little bit different. It's held on by those teeth on that center bow. Um, but on the back and the front two bows, we'll, we'll make a mark and we'll slit that. Okay. All right, Sam, so the uh, four bows are in. We've cut the extra, you know, just around there for access. Now what are we doing here? So the next step I like to do is, uh, even though this is a staple in headliner, I like to use a two-part or a, a two-piece what I like to use is a uh, contact adhesive. Uh, so we'll actually spray the headliner and we'll spray that. And what that ends up doing is it saves us time as when we're putting it in, we can adjust it, pull it down, remove it, instead of stapling all, all the way across and it's like, oh crap, at the end I need to stretch it another two inches. Now you have to pull all those staples out, well with glue, it'll actually, you just pull it down, move it out, it'll hold it in place, and then you can run your staples at the very end once it's all tight and looks nice. Okay. That's what we'll do now. We'll go through and just spray around the whole edge. You know, actually we'll go up a little bit higher than what you think because once this is in here and we're pulling on this and it's getting tight, it's not necessarily going to just be right here. So I'll, I'll probably spray, you know, two, three inches above where the end of the bow is. Sam, what are you doing here exactly? So this is the this is why it's a two-part adhesive. You spray the headliner, and then the second part is we'll spray around the edges of the uh, where, where the tack strips and stuff are in the car. So uh, make sure you have a little piece of cardboard or something so you don't get it all over your trim. We'll just put on a little bit like that all the way around the edges, so that way when we come in, it'll hold it in place. All righty, cool. Over your seat and everything. Grab it like in the middle? Yep. So I'm going to have Ryan help me here and he'll actually pass the, the headliner into me. Typically with bow style headliners we want to start in the middle and then stretch it front and back. But with these clips in the back it actually has a little cardboard end like this that's actually going to sit in these little retainer clips. So we'll start in the back and then we'll pull it forward. That's how we're going to do this. Just go on into them. Drape it over your seat. Me. Alright. Like that. You want to pull this forward? Yeah, a little bit. Another thing to note uh, when you do a bow headliner, um, you kind of want to find the center of the car. Uh, it's kind of easy with this because we have the retainer clips and we have one that lines up right on the middle. And then up very front, the rear view mirror hole is, is centered on there. So that way the, the center line on this headliner um, should match up from there. So we, we'll start in the middle, we'll work our way out. Now that we got these rear um, cardboard clips in, we're going to go through and line it up with the hole that we marked earlier on the bows. So we, we marked those holes earlier with the bows, and then we'll go through and we'll feed that back in that hole. And these, these bows are pretty much all the same. Um, they have just a little little flare at the end and then that just kind of sits inside the hole
a lot of times you gotta kinda finesse it. Like that, it'll just pop right in. So on a 59, it has little retainer notches like this. So once the bow's in, it'll fit inside that retainer. That'll keep it from going back and forth. We just kind of keep working our way forward. So on this middle one here, it has the little, little kind of claw things that this actually stabs into. So the only trick with that is you want to make sure you get to your side to side pull in place first before you punch it through the headliner. So you actually force the headliner through the, or you force the headliner through the, the pins there. Yeah, see we, we don't make a make a cut because we don't know where those those are gonna end up. But you stab it underneath the metal rod, correct? Yep. Okay. So it, it's supporting the rod. Like that. Just go through and we'll tug it. Making sure that you know you don't want to you don't want to get too far off center. You know, we still have that tape mark and everything. We kind of want that all to line up and right now you know I'm about about a quarter inch to the right which it's not going to kill us. Most headliners um, that you get in a box or anything like that, they're going to be made with plenty extra hanging off the edge that we'll go through and trim once we get it stapled. So, head to our last bow. Second to last bow. Same deal. Find our mark that we made. Sit in that channel. And you're just popping each bow into its into its uh, the, the hole that we marked. And then from here, this is why we glue it. So we can see our, our center mark lines up with this. Which is that uh, mirror screw, which is the center. Right, that's the center of the roof of the car. And then we're gonna give this one good pull pulling that pretty tight. So now all the headliners are gonna have this. It's gonna have like this little wrinkle. So we, we solve that by pulling it out left and right. You see if I, if I tug on that, it pulls it, relaxes it. So what we'll do is we'll get it, we'll get it kind of tacked down in the center up here first. And then this is what a lot of people mess up on. If you don't have a steamer, your clothes iron has a steam setting or you can get those little handheld ones. What you want to do is get this really hot, really relax it. That way when we stretch it, it has lots of, it's lots of pliability. You pull it out and then once it cools, it'll get tight. So that way it'll get nice and tight. We'll get all these wrinkles out. It'll look, look really nice when it's done. So I'm going to go grab the steamer now before we go any further. All right, so now that we got the steamer going, we'll uh, you know, kind of work on our problem area right here. You see all these, these wrinkles. Uh, we'll get this nice and hot and kind of get all of this so it's nice and pliable. And then what we'll do is we're gonna pull from the seam of our first bow. We're gonna try to pull that over. See how I pull that? All those wrinkles disappear. Got the wrinkles, no wrinkles. And then we're gonna push that onto our tack strip, but keep that held because now the next thing we got these wrinkles which will pull out when we pull forward. So that's why we get it nice and hot. So it, it pulls and then once it cools, it retracts and, that's and makes why, it super tight. That's why you use the glue instead of staples because then you can move it if you need to. Exactly. Because yeah, that's the thing. If this was off and we put all these staples in it, you gotta pull them out all out. Well, now you got ripped your headliner and it might not cover or you might rip it more by pulling it tight. So that's why we kind of do it in stages. So this this already kind of cooled down enough that we'll need to reheat it with some steam. Now I'm holding on to this because we have a lot of pressure on on that first bow until we get it tacked around the rest of the headliner and then uh, tacked around all the way up front with that glue. Get that nice and pliable and soft. And we'll just keep working that up front. See, just like that, see, I got a little pucker. So if I did that with, 
with staples. Now I'd have to pull all the staples out around to try to get that pucker out. I can just pull it loose with the glue. Working our way around. Pull this down. And you can feel where your tack strip is and everything. So we'll just kind of push all that and make it nice and tight. Okay, so after we got from the halfway point to the first bow, kind of pulled and stretched into place, you can see it, no wrinkles, looks nice and tight. We'll go to the next bow and we'll pull that tight. And once we do that, you can see I get all the, all the wrinkles that were here, see how they're there, then we pull it tight. Which is another reason why we cut that one inch up from the bend on that bow, because you're gonna pull that listing down to that. And you might have to go back in, you might have to cut a little bit more depending on what car you're working on. Like I said, every headliner is different. So once we get that tacked in, then we're gonna repeat the whole process on the other side, slowly working our way to the back. All right, Sam, so uh, 25 minutes later here, it looks like all the wrinkles are out. Yeah, once we got all this kind of glued and touched into place, we'll run a line of staples in that tack strip and kind of, that'll really kind of hold it and keep it there from from coming off um, that way you know like like we said we use the glue to kind of as a temporary hold the staples be the the final cool man well uh i'll let you get to work all righty Now, does it matter how close you are or? No, I'm just kind of feeling, you know, on that tack strip, it had those little metal mm -hmm. tabs that bent up there. So I'm just kind of feeling and stapling in between those. I make little X's on the on the seams themselves, just because that's going to be the, the most pressure. I guess the most pulling is, is happening right there. But yeah, there's no really rhyme or reason where I'm putting them. All right, Sam, what's the proper technique here to uh, trim off all this excess we've got? Yeah, so once we get it all stapled on, we'll just take a just a razor blade, something sharp, and then we'll cut that right on the bottom side. Of the staples? Yep, right, you'll kind of feel where the edge of the, that metal liner is. Oh, okay. Um, if we cut there, then all our trim and everything will hide any of, the ex or any of that raw edge. Just kind of cut it down like that. Then we'll just do that all the way across and along the back side, uh, and then we'll move on to putting on all the, the stainless trim and, and finding those holes. And then we're pretty much done. Then we're pretty much done. Cool, man. Alrighty, guys, the wind might be a little bad here. It's like 40 miles an hour, so I apologize if you guys hear any wind noise. But she is all done. Sam even buffed all the aluminum trim. Got matching rear panels that Sam installed and I actually had this bunched up this uh, package tray here so he fixed that for me next thing I ordered some uh, felt so he's gonna install those but yeah as you guys can see looks like it came from the factory this way so if you guys want to check out one of the best in the business I will leave Sam's channel in the description below check him out he does a lot of this stuff um, I guess obviously more than I do um, a lot of cool stuff. Sam, thanks for doing this, man. I definitely appreciate it. Absolutely. It was kind of a pleasure working on something that wasn't all rusted out and beat up. You know, it's definitely worth saving. Everyone, this guy right here, he is the best in the business. If you want to do business with him and bring your car and, and win every show, bring it to Sam. So, <laughs> like I said, you guys, I'll leave his channel in the description below. But yeah, this is, uh, this is the end of today's video. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're new. Thank you all for watching. My name is Ryan with Iowa Classic Cars and I will catch you next time.